Hello, today we're going to clean some silver, silver jewelry, silver items, sterling silver, uh, without using harsh chemicals or industrial chemicals, but just something you would have around the house. We're going to take some aluminum foil and we line the, our bowl here with aluminum foil and we take, we're going to place tarnished jewelry, this is a chain, heavily tarnished in there. Place it down in there. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put this this air or this Air Force pin in there. It's heavily tarnished. Then I'll get some water, very hot water. Okay, so we got the, the water is plenty hot, as you can see. Pour in the hot water. Cover all the items. Shake baking soda on the items. It's fizzing. The hot water is important. This is where they does the action. You can smell there's something happening here. Uh, doesn't just smell like baking soda. So that should do it. After I poured in the hot water and then baking soda, you'll see a reaction. And look at it and see if it's taking the tarnish off. Leave it in only as long as it needs to be to take the tarnish off. This is a sterling silver fork because I don't want to contaminate the liquid. Okay, so you can use plastic, wood, or sterling silver because silver, it's the same thing. Now, this is just coming out of the liquid. You remember how tarnished this was, how black that was? So look how nice it is now. Now, I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to wipe it off with a, just a, you could use a t-shirt, you could use whatever you want. Of course, I'm going to use one of our polishing cloths, but this has nothing in it. It's just a polishing cloth. And takes off whatever dirt's laying on the surface or residual. Look at that. Without any harsh chemicals, without anything. I mean, it brought it right back to wearable condition. Now let's look at the uh, service metal in here. Now this was even heavier tarnish. Now if you notice, it took a lot of the stuff off. Um, let's dry it off. But it was, it was just totally black. And what you'll find is that if you rub it with a cloth, you'll get a lot of that to come off, see? It'll come off right on the cloth. And you may need to do this again because it was so heavy, heavily tarnished, it just won't remove it all. Or maybe you find that you like the way it leaves the patina on the piece and, and highlights it like a shadowing, and you might leave that. You know, and if you have a, a, like a dry polishing cloth where there's a little bit of polish in the cloth, you can brighten it up with that and maybe you like it like that. See? And if you wanted all that off, you want all the black off, just you know, pour this out and do it again. You will look, look down side in here, I don't know if you can notice, but the, the aluminum is a little bit yellowed. Uh, if you remove a lot of tarnish, you'll start to almost turn sort of a light brown in there. The oxide is actually being applied to the aluminum. It's like an electrolysis that's created here. So, um, you know, it's a very simple method. It's very effective, and it's, har and it's actually harmless to you. And as you can see, you get a pretty nice result out of something that was not wearable.